This is why I'm big in Philly. This is why I responded back to Mike Knox right here. This is what I, this is what I told Mike Knox, bro. This is what I told Mike Knox. And the reason why I told Mike Knox this right, the reason why I told him this right, because this nigga found me on YouTube and Instagram, bro. This nigga liked my Instagram and commented on YouTube. So he already know who I am. All right, check this. Listen, remember when I was telling y'all I was banned in Philly? Yes, banned in the black is banned in Philly because of Quilly Mills. Remember I told y'all I was banned in Philly because of Quilly? Listen, I was kind of like joking, but I was kind of serious. I was like maybe like 50-50 joking, 50 serious, 50 50 serious about me banned in Philly when it came to the Quilly situation. The creator of No Diddy, Quilly, do you know what he was saying to kids? Do you know what the creator of No Diddy was saying to kids? Watch this. Dang it, I'm in the hood, yangin. Yeah, Say, yeah, bro. Tell them dick up to the haters. Dick up to the haters, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got all the snacks. See? 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 And that right there would be the reason why I'm in motherfucking hide now. Why I'm being in Philly because this nigga is telling little kids, bro, you can't create no ditty. NBC. First of all, you can't create no DJ. I'm probably really being in Philly this time. Listen, I gotta tell you what happened, right? So remember, Mike Knox had the little situation, right, where he was saying the shit about Meek Mill, and Meek Mill had eight game Garcia in him. Why even say he had eight game Garcia in him? Eight game Garcia just happened to be there, and then Mike Knox just happened to be apologizing and shit. Well, anyways, I'm a YouTuber. I do content creation, right? So I did a video on Mike Knox, right? Against my better judgment. When I did the video, I didn't want to hold you. When I did the video about Mike Knox, I said, this is probably one of the people I probably shouldn't do a video about. I probably shouldn't do a video about my Mike Knox. But I did the video. Did this nigga, like, you know you get kidnapped when you go to like, you know like when, when niggas be going to, um, when chicks be going to like California, not California, to Mexico to get like a BBL, and then the cartel members like put up on them, like, yo, listen, read this letter or we gonna off you. That's what like they did to Mike Knox, bro. That's what they did to Mike Knox, bro. They kidnapped this nigga on some BBL shit, bro. It's crazy. Look at this. Me and Garcia had a conversation. We just bumped into each other. We had a serious conversation about this situation with me and how I was out of pocket, how I was wrong, right? How I was fucked up, how I was disrespectful. It ain't man shit. How I was a man time, how I got caught up in the bullshit with the Instagram and being disrespectful. And we had something going on together where we all were supposed to do something together and switch. And I got on some bullshit got with on the, the disrespect. Hate train and right, with the, the Meek Mill hate train, with the disrespect and the saying anything that wasn't supposed to be said on man time. And as a man, I apologize, I was wrong, it shouldn't have happened, it's not gonna happen again, that's not how we move, that's not how we handle shit. I should have gotten on the phone, called guards, called anybody from the Dream Chasers, had a conversation. I did a formal apology the first time, then I turned around and got mad at something, that I could have picked up the phone and had a conversation with you, had a conversation with you. Me or had a conversation with anybody else that's on my side. As a man, me, I apologize. As a man, first, I apologize. And this shit won't happen no more. Respectfully. As a, respect that, you know what I'm saying? As a man, and this is, I don't care what niggas think, how niggas feel. We came up in this shit together. We chastised each other, all kinds of shit. From the back cave days, I respect this man. I respect niggas. I was wrong. Period, by the way. And that says to me. Mike Knox found me. He pulled up on me. Listen. Well, let, let me get, let, let me make this clear. Let's make this disclaimer right now. Mike Knox did pull up on me, but I did not pull a Mike Knox. I, he, I was not apologizing. He ain't had me like this apologizing. My shirt do look a little bit out of place right now because I just came from a little parent-teacher conference. The open house joint. My, my daughter's school is running around with a crazy bunch of food and crayons and, and, and glue and stuff. It was crazy. But anyways, listen. Mike Knox pulled up on me, right? And he posted this right here, right? He said, being in a black, you wanted my attention, now you got it. And I was thinking like, okay, this is probably not that bad. This is probably not that bad. Mike Knox found me. I'm saying he commented. I wanted his attention, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking like, well, that's cool. That's cool. Maybe he didn't see the review that I did on Oh, That's Rider. When Oh, That's Rider was like, I ain't out here apologizing like I'm... He ain't say Mike Knox, but he knew he was talking about Mike Knox. I ain't out here lacking, acting like I ain't got eyes for Had me on camera apologizing like I'm <laughs> I ain't never nah, trying to diss him. And he got the VJ, won't have your camera file. Come on, Mike Knox. Oh my god. See, this ain't about Mike Knox. This ain't about Mike Knox. That's that I like that bar, bro. Op. It's the switch on my Glock. I pull up and drop this on the op. Seen shooters get excited when I give them the drop. Seen niggas get indicted, try and get rich on the block. I'm on the rack tour, but I'm still like this with the rock. Oh, PNB, he from Philly. 
And I reacted to the video, bro. I like you the line, bro. You're a meme now, Mike Knox. Like, not me. No, no, let me let me make that clear. On every, on my daughter, bro. My, I'm not. I don't mean like you're a meme. Like you're a meme. Like you're a joke. I'm just saying you're a meme. Like that shit happens. So people gonna talk about it, bro. You can't be mad. And if you gonna be mad at how you gonna be mad at me, Mike Knox? How you gonna be mad at me talking about you got my attention? You wanted them niggas had your attention and you were saying sorry, bro. You were saying sorry, bro. You were saying sorry. You let me down, bro. That wasn't even a bad video. I wasn't talking bad about you, Mike Knox. I was just saying it looked like a hostage situation. Like, when, bro, when you did what you did to gunplay in them, you 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 were saying it the way that you wanted to say it. So I said it the way that I wanted to say it, bro. I mean, clearly we're not in the same city, and that's the reason why I said it, because I'm not going to bump into Mike Knox and, like, go to his face and say, nigga, you was in a hostage situation. That's what y'all YouTubers be getting it wrong. Y'all be thinking, like, you not a real nigga unless you bump into Mike Knox and you say to his face, like, yo, you was in a hostage situation. No, why, why would I do that, though? Like, what? why would I make that unhealthy, like, life decision to say that to a man like Mike Knox? Mike Knox is still who he is. It's just that that happened to him, bro. It happens to the best of them. I didn't say the best of us. It didn't happen to me, bro. It didn't, I, I, don't be, I don't be saying shit like that, bro. I don't be saying shit like that, Mike Knox. Honestly, though, I always say on this channel, I want to leave the video... Uh, either with laughter or something good or some type of advice, something positive, right? I can say this, Mike Knox. Honestly, bro, the reason why you messed up is because you didn't stand on it, bro. You didn't stand on it. And the reason why I responded back the way... That, oh, I need to tell you about the response. Listen to that. This is why I'm being in Philly. This is why I responded back to Mike Knox right here. This is what I, this is what I told Mike Knox, bro. This is what I told Mike Knox. And the reason why I told Mike Knox this right, the reason why I told him this right is because... This nigga found me on YouTube and Instagram, bro. This nigga liked my Instagram and commented on YouTube. So he already know who I am. I did the video bare face. So I had two options, two options. I could have put a Mike Knox when he put up on me and said, listen, bro, my bad, Mike Knox, my bro. I'm just a content creator. I'm just a DJ. I could have put a party Flacco. I'm just a civilian. I could have did all of that. But you know what I did? I kept the same energy, bro. You know why? You know why I kept the same energy? Y'all thought I was gonna say because I was a real nigga. Nah, I am a real nigga, bro. I am a real nigga. I am a real nigga. But the reason why I did it, because I'm probably not gonna bump into Mike Knox, bro. I'm probably not gonna bump into Mike Knox. And if I do bump into Mike Knox, if Mike Knox, if you really listen to the video that I said, out of everybody that did videos about you, bro, because niggas was disrespecting the fuck out of you, bro. Niggas was making memes and all types of shit. All I said was that it looked like a hostage situation, bro. You looked like he was in a hostage situation. I said, blink twice if you need help, bro. I fucked with Philly, bro. I got a beer, bro. I'm 25%. Philadelphian, bro. I'm 75% Buffalonian and I'm 25% Philadelphian because I got the beard, bro. And this hat might stand for Philly. I don't really know because I'm not into sports, but it got a P and it might stand for Philly. Like Philadelphia Flyers or something. No, I think it's the Philadelphia Pirates or something. I don't know. We're going to say it stands for Philly, though. We're going to say it stands for Philly. Shouts out to Philly, even though I probably can't go there, bro. I can't go to Philly because Quilly Mills was telling, was talking to kids about his dick, bro. I can't go to I can't go to Philly because Quilly Mills was talking to kids about his dick, bro. Go look at the video that I did about Quilly Mills and what he was saying in Philly, bro. We don't, we don't say no Diddy no more, bro. You can't, Quilly, you can't do, this video ain't even about Quilly, but I just want to tell you the reason why I was initially banned in Philly. So Mike Knox, you ain't got to feel like it's just about you, Mike Knox. It's not just you, bro. I don't just do videos about you. So when I say Quilly telling kids, dick up, I told him, no, we reversing that whole no Diddy shit, bro. Quilly, you can't take a word like no homo, because no homo's a New York thing. You can't remix a word like no homo into no Diddy, and then say some Diddy shit, bro. He was talking to a bunch of kids saying dick up, bro. And y'all don't hop in my comments, do not hop in my comments and say, that's the Philly thing, bro. You don't understand, that's the Northwest, East, West, Southwest, Northwest. Cause y'all, nobody's ever from like the East side of Philly or like the West side of Philly. It's always like a Northwest or a Southwest or North. I got $20 for anybody who can tell me one person that's from the East side of Philly, bro. Cause when I, when I ask people, by the way, I'm joking, do not hit my inbox, I'm not sending you $20. But when I ask people, what was the East side of Philly? Do you know what these niggas told me, bro? I asked in the comments, what is the east side of Philly? Because I, I love Philly. I never heard of an artist say he was from the east side of Philly. I asked these niggas, what was the east side of Philly? You know what they told me? Bandana Black, Philly does have an east side, stupid. It's Jersey. Nigga said, Bandana Black, Philly, Philadelphia does have an east side to Philadelphia. It's in Jersey. That's like me saying Buffalo got it's, it's a west side of Buffalo. It's in Brooklyn, nigga. The west side of Buffalo is in Brooklyn, my nigga. But anyways, um, I'm trying to change the subject because um, I'm honestly scared for my life because why the fuck did Mike Knox tell me that I got his... What does that even mean, yo? Somebody hop in the comments let me know what the fuck this shit even mean. Like, what does this Mike Knox shit mean? He said, you got my attention. You wanted my attention, now you got it. Does that mean I get an interview now or does that mean you on your way to Buffalo to do me what them niggas did to you, bro? Because I'm letting you know now, bro. I'm letting you know now. If it ain't no cameras, I apologize, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't trying to fist fight you, bro. If it ain't no cameras, I apologize. If anybody got a moment, nigga got on a Ray-Ban glasses, bro. I'm swinging first, bro. I'm swinging first. The same thing that you did to Gunplay, 
I'm not gonna do it, bro. I'm not gonna do it, bro. Mike Knox still who the fuck he is. Anyways, DJ Beard in the black, Mr. Well Connected, more respect than Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Um, by the way, DJ Ben Ben Bandana.